and find the neutrinos. This weather satellite will take care of them and the neutrinos. Thank you for tuning in to Mr. Clips Toy Shop. On today's review, we take a look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Trag and Granitor 2-pack. Today, I'll be reviewing this set in the following categories. Accessories, articulation, design, are they essential to your collection, functionality, and price. Once those scores are totaled, I'll be giving you my opinion if this set is a pass or a purchase. So to my fellow New York collectors, you know that it is nearly impossible to find this figure at any of your targets. So a big shout out to the man who sent this my way. Super excited to have this in my collection and not to have to pay an abundantly high price that they fetch for on eBay. So for accessories, this two pack is really on the light end. We get two blasters. Which are done well enough. Let's see if I can angle my lighting so that you can see. And both blasters are identical. Then we get what I think is a mutagen canister. And last, we get a crane communicator, which I really like. So for accessories, no alternate heads, no alternate hands, no alternate weapons. Really disappointed in what we get. So for overall accessories, I'm going to give this set a 4 out of 10. So for articulation, just looking at these figures, I am concerned. There appears to be some likeness in the bodies of both and some differences. So I'm going to see how each figure moves. So with Granitor, his head is able to look up about that much, which isn't too bad. It's able to look down barely any. However, if you shift it forward, you can see the huge gap here. He's able to bury his head way down. And then just using that space, again, just to look up. So the head is able to move forward and back. It can rotate at full 360 if you choose to. You get a good amount of pivot and side to side movement. Now with the arms is where I'm really concerned. The arms appear to only move up about that much. They do rotate at full 360 if you choose to. No upper bicep cut. In the arm you do have a point of rotation under the elbow. The elbow is single jointed, bending in about that much which is a lot more than I thought. The hands are able to rotate and I can't tell if they are on a peg or a hinge. They are on a hinge. So it only moves up and down rather side to side. Just want to see if we get more movement on this arm. And I don't think we do. So now focusing on the torso, you get my favorite uh, A and B portion. So just using the A, he's able to turn side to side. It's not able to move backwards any at all. Not able to move forward barely any pivot and it doesn't stay so not sure if we should be counting that you get a decent amount of rotation i thought it would be much more using the combination of the two the lower portion doesn't seem like it moves any so just really pushing it all the way back because this is what you get forward he bends over a lot more no rotation at the uh the waist the legs are able to go side to side very good up better than expected back about that much it does rotate next point of rotation is directly under the knee the knee is single jointed bending in only that much with the no rotation there with the foot it's able to go back about that much forward barely any and it rotates a decent amount inside as well as outside though it's on an angle moving on to trag we're gonna get a lot less movement in the head. The head is able, oh, wait a minute. I was wrong about that. The head is able to look up that much, which is way better than I thought. It's able to bury his own chin. Very surprised at that. Good rotation as well as pivot. And no shift back and forward. The arm is able to move out only that much. It's, a, it's able to rotate a full 360 if you choose to. And the rest of the articulation seems to be the same. However, we will go through it. Next point of rotation is at the elbow single joint it coming in about that much focusing on the torso pushing it all the way back that's too far as i popped it off all right it's about to go about that much forward that much decent amount of rotation again the pivot doesn't really stay legs are able to come out far to the side 
forward about that much, backward about that much. You do get rotation. Next point of rotation in the leg is under the knee. The knee is single jointed, bending in that much. The boot comes, or the foot rather, comes down that much, forward that much. And again, you do get some rotation here, though it's on an angle. So for articulation, several limitations. The torso is very limited, uh, as well as the arms and the legs. The only really good part is the head. So for overall articulation, I'm going to give this set a 5 out of 10. So for design, NECA really killed this two-pack. The overall colors, the scope itself is amazing. Really just like the overall proportions. Not to human anatomy, more so to or in relation to its cartoon counterpart. So just really like the small details with the bullets being painted. The line work is really good. And on the helmet, you have some dents. Let's see if we can zoom in. Hopefully that light is shining where it needs to be. So yeah, I, I it could be said that some of this maybe is an issue from the factory. Like right here, for example, that area. I, I don't think that was done intentionally. Could be wrong. But then there are some other areas to where there are some dents and dings. And it looks good to me. And this part I really remember here, this logo or badge, uh, this really stands out to me. And just quickly jumping over to Granitor, this again stands out to me. The line work is very well. The helmet here appears to be a lot cleaner than the other. You do see a dent here, which I like. The boots are also sculpted at the bottom, a nice touch. And here, not as much paint. As on track, see the bullets here, the tips, everything here is all black. So for overall design, I'm going to give the set a 9 out of 10. So are these figures essential to your collection? Well, that depends. No, it absolutely does not depend. These are not essential characters. They are tier C characters at best, and I'm aiming to place them on a tier D. If you watch the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon, I think you would agree with me that Krang and Shredder, of course, are the tier one characters. Underneath them would be Bebop and Rocksteady. Maybe a step below them would be the Rat King or Baxter Stockman. And then there are other cronies. And I feel that these even score below that. So as far as being essential to your collection, I'm going to give these figures a 2 out of 10. So just before we jump into functionality, I forgot an accessory that comes with these figures. So you get wanted posters for the new neutrinos. This is probably not coming across clear on camera. Sort of a hologram style. You can see it here. All right, so now let's move into functionality. First thing that I want to bring to your attention will be the stand test. As both figures do not stand, I actually had to use the NECA stand that comes with the DC figures in order to support these figures. Uh, secondly, well, let's start at the head as we normally do. So as I mentioned, the head is perhaps the, but the best and mobile. So let's just go to the head next, which is definitely the most mobile aspect of this figure. Now, aside from the head, there are several challenges. Just starting with the upper torso, it is super limited. It doesn't provide any range really to move back forward or even to stay side to side. And one of the reasons that the figure cannot stay side to side is it's a pretty sturdy figure. So it's heavy. So I'm thinking that that weight just doesn't hold in place. The other challenge with this figure being heavy, and it's for both of them, the upper part of the body, the torso, the arms, are very big and long and the legs are small. This creates a problem for standing as it's super top heavy. What also doesn't help, my legs, maybe loose isn't the right term, but they're certainly not as tight as I would like them to be. And then the figure is just so misproportionate. Now I mentioned earlier that I do like the proportions and that's based off its cartoon counterpart not based off any type of anatomy now you would think with these massive expo exposed excuse me ball pegs here or what looks to be a ball peg that you would get a butterfly joint but you don't and then the legs themselves are super limited now 
let's move on to some of the few accessories that they come with. So we get a pistol. The problem here is that we don't have any additional hands. And this is not what I would consider a weapon holding hand. I'm pretty sure that it will fit, but it's no way for his massive fingers to even fit into the holes to squeeze the trigger. So that's an issue. And it doesn't matter which hand. That hand is certainly the best to hold it. You can place it in both hands, but that doesn't work particularly well either. You do have a finger that looks like it's sticking out to be a trigger finger, but it doesn't fit in the hole as it's just too big. Moving on to the communicator. Not sure if you can even get it to work. We're going to try. So you can get it to work. Okay, so here we go. Able to get him to hold it. And he holds it quite well, much better than I thought he would. Now you have another accessory, which is this canister. I would assume that this hand is the best to hold it in. And if you squeeze it, you can get him to hold it. I'm sure if you press it in, you can get him to hold it better than this. But being that I don't have any additional hands, if this thumb or finger pops off, I'm sort of screwed. And it is very stiff getting this in here and then just moving on to some of the wanted posters no way to get them to hold this properly you'll have to sort of set the hands up and maybe work something like that now both figures do come with a holster to hold the weapon something i always like and it appears that the weapon will fit here easy enough and it does so for overall functionality, I'm giving this two pack a four out of 10. So for pricing, this set comes in at $52. You add in taxes, you add in shipping. Uh, you're looking at a price point of roughly $57. I did not have to have this set shipped as I had someone bring it to me. So now is this set worth the cost of admission? So let's see what it comes with. As far as overall accessories, you don't get a lot. The draw for these figures, or the draw for this two set, is going to be these two figures. I don't think that we receive a Granitor in the original toy line. We received a Trag, but whoa, the toy figure is completely different from the cartoon figure. Almost two different characters completely, as far as they look. If you're interested in having two big rock figures that you can absolutely throw in other lines of your collections without a question, this will fit in with your Masters of the Universe or Power Ranger figures. So for pricing, I'm going to give this set a 10 out of 10. This will give the overall two pack a cliff score of 35 out of 60. So now is this set a pass or a purchase? Looking at the cliff score, it would seem like it is a pass. However, I'm going to say that this is a purchase, especially for anyone who's looking to relive that toy line whether they weren't able to get these characters as children, if they want to relive this with their kids, or you're just looking for some cool Rockman. So for sizing, I'm going to slide this one back for a moment as I really want to show you what the original one looks like. Just look how different these two characters are. The face is completely different. This one has all kinds of bugs and animals. Like, it looks like a crab is here. You have a spider on his arm, a snake on his leg. This one has pants. This one does not. This is just so different that you would not think that these were the same characters. And if you just look at the overall size, you just really see what NECA did here. I doubt anyone would argue that this is a step up. So just bringing him back to the front, maybe sliding the two like this. Maybe I can put a character in the middle. So here he is next to you, uh, the Green Ranger from Hasbro Lighting Collection. I definitely have to boil these legs as they are super warped, but you just get an idea for scale. Continuing with a Marvel Legends figure. Moving on to a G.I. Joe figure. Jumping to Super 7... Lion-O. Moving to a larger Marvel Legends figure. And now next to the 2012 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles reboot. 
Well, thank you for tuning in to Mr. Cliff's Toy Shop. I hope to see you during the next review.